Okay, finally we get to the MAPCs. Um, now we have our, our basic uh, skeleton func function in here to control the, uh, the motion control of the Axis 1. So let's get to the um, MAPCs. If you have not watched 1, 2, and 3 video, do you know stop the video right here and pick up and watch those videos on how we got to where we're at if you have go ahead and continue all right so uh we'll add a rung we'll come up and uh, of course we're going to monitor a stage right so we'll go here we'll paste and we're going to make sure that we're in state three right so if we're in state three then we want to be able to control the MAPC. At this point, we'll say um, this will be uh, start MAPC controls. I don't like the way that separates, so let's just go back and and this say PB behind it. That will give you a perfect example about what that does. Wow. Um, okay, so let's go up here and let's show the motion. Uh, let's see where they're at. Uh, motion MAPC. I think I passed it. Um, MAPC, again, this is the very first one we're going to do. The slave axis is axis 1. The master axis, again, is going to be the virtual axis. We're going to call this um, MAPC APC, uh, control or motion control. And then we're going to give, this is going to be, um, let's, just, let's just make this a dim uh, dimension of three so that we can actually have several of these. This is going to be uh, zero. Um, so the uh, direction we want to go is, and we'll look at this and I'll show you, explain to you real quick. The direction, um, <clears throat> oh, I think I passed it. Uh, da, 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 da. No, I didn't. Cool. Alright, so uh, the direction will obviously be the same as that's zero. One would be opposite, two reverse, um, three unchanged. So um, we'll go through and um, just to explain, you know, then we'll put the cam profile. Okay, so the profile we need to make, right? So the cam profile, we need to say uh, this is the... Uh, cam profile actually let's call this MAPC cam profile <clears throat> and then we'll we'll make this a dimension of let's just say 30 and what we'll do is we'll call this cam 1 Cam one, uh, let's see. I don't like the way that looks. So let's let's go ahead and uh, change that to one on the back side. That's the first cam. Um, the slaving dimensions, as far as scaling, uh, we'll go one to one, um, and we'll come back if we got uh, you know if we get down into it, we'll we'll change the scaling if you want. Execution mode. The first one is going to be a once. Um, the um, first one is going to be also immediate. The cam lock position it will be based upon where you start. So <clears throat> we'll say zero and zero. And the because we haven't done our cam yet, the reference we want to do command. Uh, honestly, there's you can do actual, but we'll do command on ours. It just gives you um, a lot better uh, access to not having problems later on. So um, there is an anomaly with some things that happen if you use actual. So I always use command. 
you can use actual if you feel. Um, just know that there is a one instance in, that is known through the Rockwell knowledge base that that does happen. So um, again, direction is a feed forward only. Um, so now we have uh, the first cam in here. Now, with that said, uh, we need to actually build up this cam profile, right? So <clears throat> we can't do that online. So what we'll do is we'll assemble this. And then we'll go ahead and save one time. And it go offline. So go offline and now we can build our camp. So we'll start off with zero and then we'll say zero. And then uh, obviously we can change this to whatever we want to. So if we said this was two, um, this is four, this is six, this is eight, this is 10, this is 12. Um, we need to make these slightly bigger. So let's go <clears throat> say 10. Uh, let's call this 20. Let's call this 30, 40. And we'll call this 50 and then 60. We'll call this 70, 80, 90 and 100. Okay, so now we'll throw in some dimensions for our first points that we want to control. Uh, we'll call this one. And that's our first point. <clears throat> this one we'll call, uh, we want to change it to, let's say this one, we can go 15. Um, then we'll start transitioning up. Um, We'll make some small changes and then we'll go up and then we'll keep drastically going up and then we'll do a small change and then come back and okay so this is uh, obviously just some rough draft stuff that we're doing <clears throat> so I just want to kind of you know illustrate you know that as far as that goes um, I like to apply and then hit OK and then come back to see what it looks like because it's not going to form in front of you if you do it that way. <clears throat> what I also like to do is change these from linear to cubic uh, to see what they look like. They give me a better, better illustration. Um, it really depends on how you have your cam and how you want your cam to react as far as what you want linear or cubic. In this uh, feature, we're going to do cubic. Um, and then what I'm going to do is to come back in here and drag these where I want them. So I'm basically going to have a cam that comes and works a certain direction, right? Works a certain way. And what we'll do is we'll have this carry up like this. This just give a, a nice indication of what that cam will do. Now the velocity is going to get kind of <clears throat> with this is going to get you. You see the velocity lines, which is in the red, are are going to get kind of different. So this is just a way to build it. Um, so anyway, so we'll go ahead and apply that. We'll hit OK. We'll do a download and we'll test our first one. We'll test our first MAPC. And again, remember we have this at one, so um, it's going to immediately index off of one instance and then stop. It's not going to do multiple ones. So what we can do is say, come back in here and add a function uh, to carry down to the next state. <clears throat> so we'll copy this. And we'll paste it and then we'll call this state four and then that'll load into there now 
we can say that the MAPC is done or we can just immediately, in our case, we're going to immediately go to state four. So let's go ahead and control this. So let's cut it on. Let's see where we're at. Um, so that's equal to zero, that's equal to zero, and oh, we want to uh, remove this, sorry. The servo is not on and we want to be able to cut it on, so a little typo on my last video. So anyway, it's on, state control is on, so we're going to cut the servo on at this point. So the servo is on. We'll, we can cut that off if we want. Actually, let's leave that on because we have that the reverse of that on. So now, before we cut this on, what we need to do is we need to monitor the um, velocity, the average velocity of the um, <coughs> virtual axis. So the virtual axis, we need to make sure that um, it's actually on. So what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll... we'll uh, so we'll just copy this over here and we need to paste but we're not going to use the move we're going to compare so we're going to compare it and make sure that this before um, we cut it on we need to make sure the velocity is actually greater than the average velocity is greater than one and then we'll delete it so we need to make sure it's moving to begin with. So we'll go ahead and cut this on and we won't actually, it won't actually uh, do anything until the average velocity of our, um, our actual uh, virtual axis is on. So our virtual axis is going to be the leader, <clears throat> meaning the, the master that's going to do the reference in here. The virtual axis is the master. So that's this set of numbers. And as it runs down the virtual axis on this, this graph here, as it moves from left to right, it's going to do the slave, which is the axis one, is going to do the cam profile that we indicated. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut that on. And we actually uh, <laughs> faulted out uh, based upon uh, we did too, too, too rapid for... So let's go ahead and reset that. Um, actually, let's use our, our controls. Our controls should have um, took it back to. Yep, and it did. Okay. So no problem there. And let's cut this off. So what we need to do is dial this back down. <clears throat> is what we'll do is we'll actually take the cam profile and have it a little bit more subtle uh, and so we'll go back offline and it's just the the way I have the attributes that should be able to handle that and then we'll come back here and download again there's other things we can do um, besides, you know, actually changing the cam. We get I could change some uh, attributes on the servo as well, but I, I want to actually um, just get it working first. So let's do that, and we could also play with scaling as well too. So no big deal on that. <clears throat> okay, so we're on first scan. Uh, came back, and you know everything is good. Um, we want to make sure, and again, you've seen the servo group come in. So we'll come in and make sure we indexed. Now we're on. Okay, so we're on, and the virtual axis is not running. So we'll actually do that again. And we fault it out again, so that's the position error, if I imagine. So let's go up here and just increase our position error. Uh, let's just say for the sake of this, what we're going to be doing 
Uh, let's just put in 20 units and allow that to uh, change. Let's go back up here and do this one more time. Okay, so we're back on. Let's see if that worked this time. Okay, so that worked. And to be able to see that, what we can do is throw in a trend. And we'll call this uh, axis one trending. And we'll, I'll just hit finish. And what I want to do is go into my charts, um, add some tags that I want to actually act, um, monitor. This would be real simple is actual position. And then command position. And then what I want to do is actually add in, um, I'll add in the uh, virtual axis. So the virtual axis position as well. And I like to do that to kind of show where it's at. <clears throat> so in that, that instance too, we'll put this at 45 seconds. We'll come in and we'll put the... Um, the tags, let's say, let's put this at 20, negative 25 and let's put this at 370 so that they all line up. And then we'll go to isolated graphing, put that at 10%. And then that way each, each tag has its own representation of where it's at. <clears throat> and to show you that um, as well, right, is what we can do is go to virtual axis and have it jog. And you can see that it's actually jogging. Now we don't have um, we don't have the MAPC actually re-indexing several times. We just have it um, going back and working once. So at this point in time, it's only going to work once. But we can actually come in and make it work more than once. Um, but in the the sake of what we're doing. Um, let's just actually cut it off and it's it's, it's got to go back back through so let's cut it back on and it's actually I th oh yeah we're actually um, so I have to come back and change the okay so we actually should have seen that but the problem is it's not homed, so we need to actually come in and home it. Um, for the sake of time, what we're going to do is carry on to the... Um, we're going to close this video out and carry on to the next one. So um, just to show that that was the first MAPC, we're going to throw in the second MAPC. And then when we throw in the second one, we'll actually trend it and start doing more of that. We'll throw in a home as well. You know, so that we can actually um, <clears throat> change the state machine a little bit and actually home it so that the representation that we do down here in the trending section shows this more uh, accurately. And then that way we get a better understanding of, of how it works. Because this act is actually working and it doing the trend. Um, it is actually doing that profile itself. So what we want to do is make sure that, you know, we actually uh, show that as well. So uh, again, we'll pick up on this in the next video. So uh, again, I appreciate your support, appreciate your patience, and hopefully everything is um, going well for you as far as following this training or following this um, the video course. So again, this is video four, and if you haven't watched the rest of the videos, I suggest you watch the rest of the videos because they're not going to, at this point on, they're not going to get anything out of this unless you understand that. So again, thank you, and thank you for the support.